Hi, I'm Katherine Lynn, and my talk will be about COVID-19's impact on counties with different socioeconomical characteristics. It's based on a research project that I did supervised by Professor Linda Zhao. Since the first U.S. COVID-19 case in January 2020, cases have shot up really quickly. They did so much so that by March, a lot of states instituted lockdowns. My, my school was closed and I started taking online classes. All around me, I saw signs of how COVID-19 had affected not only my life, which it did so in a very mild manner, but the lives of my friends and my community and across the country. So I began to wonder if there was anything I could do to help. At this time, I also found out that Professor Zhao was initiating a summer data science program uh, for high school students. And so I reach, reached out to her. Unfortunately, the program was canceled due to COVID-19, but she graciously agreed to mentor me on a research project on COVID-19. We started by going over the material in Professor Zhao's modern data mining course uh, which covered statistical machine learning methods um, ranging from the standard linear model to lasso to random forests, boosting, and neural networks. Then we started the project on COVID-19 death rates. We tried to find the important factors affecting the death rate. So for example, is one racial group affected more? Are the elderly affected more? And do income level and education level play um, an important role? We further used machine learning methods to predict COVID-19 death rate at a county level. Um, we hope that the results might help on issues like resource allocation and policy decisions in the future. This is the roadmap of our research. We first gathered and processed the relevant data, and then we built the models, and finally we summarized our findings. The data came from two different sources, the CDC and the USDA Economic Resor Research Service. The CDC data contains county-level infection and fatality data, and we concentrated just on the fatality, fatality data um, rather than the infection data because fatality is more well-defined and doesn't depend on factors like whether tests are widely available in the region. The ERS website had county-level socioeconomic data with four relevant data sets on income, jobs, demographics, and county classifications. The combined data had over 200 variables but some of them were the same variable measured at different times, and so we only took the most recent one. For example, um, there was unemployment rate 2010, unemployment rate 2011, and so on, and so we only took unemployment rate 2019 and um, got rid of the rest. We also um, removed any highly correlated variables. So for example, we removed uh, the total how the total number of households in a county um, in favor of the total population size of the county because they were 0.996 correlated with each other. Finally, we removed any other redundant or irrelevant variables and ended up with 40 socioeconomic variables. It's also clear that other variables that are not already in our socioeconomic data set, like uh, the phase of the pandemic that a state is going through, or the lockdown and social distancing policies of that state can also strongly affect the county level death rate. And so in order to account for differences between states um, and concentrate just on the effect of county level socioeconomic variables, we made sure to always include state as an explanatory variable in all of our analyses um, to control for any state related variability. We merged the two data sets and then moved on to modeling. We started with the exploratory data analysis and then applied statistical data analysis methods. 
Here are the maps of state death count and death rate, um, both on August 19th, 2020, which is the day that I downloaded the data. Um, so there's a clear difference between the two maps, but in this case, death rate is the more appropriate variable to look at, just because it takes the total population of a state into account. So we can see from the map that the Northeast was very heavily affected. And here's a more detailed breakdown of death rate um, by county. This histogram of death rate shows that the distribution is very skewed, so we needed to apply a transformation to make it closer to normal in order to get better modeling results. So we chose to apply the log transformation. The resulting distribution looks reasonably normal, and we used log death rate as our response variable in all of our analyses. Similarly, we also transformed any highly skewed explanatory variables by either taking the log or capping them. To gain some insight on the importance of certain variables, we did lasso regression on them to pick out a subset of important variables for linear re regression. And we used machine learning methods to predict COVID-19 county death rate. And now we come to the findings. Here is the list of the worst states. Um, that is the states that were most heavily impacted by COVID-19. And here is the list of the best states. Um, what this result is saying that uh, is that given two counties with identical socioeconomic characteristics, one in, let's say, New Jersey, which was the worst state, and one in Oregon, which is the best state, uh, the county in New Jersey will still have a higher death rate, probably due to state variations in pandemic timeline, social distancing policies, and geographical location. Here are the set of most important uh, variables that we found in our models. There's age, um, so in particular, the higher the percentage of people aged 65 and over, the higher the death rate. There was race, the um, counties with higher percentages of white people had um, lower death rates. Um, larger population size and density were associated with higher death rate. Um, furthermore, counties with higher percentages of people born in foreign countries had higher death rates. Um, the percentage of the county population involved in different uh, job types also played an important role. And similarly, the high creative class is a county classification based on whether there's a high percentage of knowledge workers, intellectuals, and various type of, types of artists. Finally, we applied different machine learning methods to predict the log death rate, um, including lasso, random forest, um, boosting, and deep learning. On our data, the random forest had the best um, test set mean squared error. So from this research, I've gained an appreciation for the power of what data science can do and I look forward to delving deeper into data science and continuing to work to use data to help impact society. Thank you for listening to my talk.